New Outlook is a cancer recovery program for anyone in Arkansas to help with supportive services after a diagnosis. Obviously with a diagnosis it, it throws you into a world that you've never been in and so you don't know where to turn. This program was, was started by some auxiliary members who were cancer survivors 15 years ago and at the time there was nothing out there for people and that's why they started New Outlook. New Outlook is for anyone in Arkansas. You don't have to be a St. Vincent's patient. You just have to have cancer and be receiving your treatment in Arkansas. That makes our St. Vincent New Outlook unique from any other program in our state. New Outlook is not exclusive to anyone. It can be men, it can be women, it can be children. Um, we help anyone that needs our supportive services. You know, the supportive services, obviously, we're not in the business of the chemotherapy. We'll leave that to the physicians. But there's a lot of changes in a person's life with a cancer diagnosis. We do, uh, obviously, the wigs because of the chemotherapy side effects. We do monthly makeovers through the Look Good, Feel Better program with the American Cancer Society. And we have lots of scarves and tips for and hats. And all our scarves are volunteer made, which makes them extra special for people knowing that somebody spent their time and money doing something nice for them and they'll never meet them. Um, one of our main services is our counseling services that we offer free of charge to any patient or any family member any time during their cancer journey. And I do have support groups that are all over the state. Um, hopefully there'll be one close to you in your community when you're diagnosed. And if not, I can help that facilitation to get you where you need to go during your cancer journey. You know, the, the world of cancer is so huge and overwhelming when you first hear those words. Um, sometimes it's a matter of wanting to know more about your cancer, wanting to know where the best treatment facilities or physicians are. We can do that for you. We can do a, a search for you and give you the information. Obviously, some people, that is not comforting to them to have all the information. Really what we do, it's personalized for each person. We don't assume that everybody wants everything. So we try to assess when people first come in or call, what do you really need? What would help you the most to get to your new normal, which you, which you have to set after your cancer diagnosis? Well, I was diagnosed in March of 2006, which is a little over five years ago, and my initial diagnosis was stage four. So I'm living with metastatic disease, and for me, that's meant a really close connection to New Outlook. I found New Outlook um, after I had been through surgery and chemo and radiation and finally started getting enough energy to reach out for and to find a support group, and New Outlook just was there waiting. I've been going to our support group meetings, listening to other women talk about things that are sometimes hard really to burden your friends with and we learn about new cutting-edge treatments, um, we share stories of hope, we sometimes cry together, um, New Outlook was there to help me find a wig when my hair fell out after chemo and um, even though, you know, it's just hair, you still want to do your best to look normal and not like a sick person. And New Outlook has a great program that teaches you how to apply makeup. Even if you just have one eyelash, it's good to put a little mascara on that. And uh, just holding a presence here for women with cancer. I had... Um, I guess I'd been in surgery, uh, rushed into surgery right after diagnosis for the bilateral mastectomy. And shortly afterwards, I got a letter in the mail from New Outlook explaining to me what programs are available for women who have cancer or who have survived and are recovering. And I called Elisa on the phone because I really wanted to go to one of the events New Outlook was having. But I was just too wiped out. I was in the middle of starting chemo and getting through that. And she told me about it over the phone. And I just held that in my mind as a goal that I wanted to get to when I was able to get
get out of the house and attend events and, and join in with the women who are involved here in this program. Three surgeries, all at St. Vincent. Um, the initial one was over at the other campus when Doctors Hospital had a wing of St. Vincent that was for uh, women and children. Well, I really I want to live a long time. I have a lot more that I want to do, and I love clothes a whole lot. And so when I was having chemo, I would get all dressed up to go for my treatments. Um, and a lot of times I would go out ahead of time and buy myself a little treat to, you know, like a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. I go buy a pair of new shoes and wear them to my chemo treatment. And, you know, as time went on, I just have a lot of really fancy, nice new shoes. And I'm determined to wear all of them. It says that there is a lot of hope, and that hope comes from joy of living in the moment. You never really know what's going to happen, but you can plan for uh, a lot of fun ahead, a lot of fun years, and, and just, for me, it's a symbol of longevity and enjoying life and getting the most of it that I can. I think, you know, what surprised me, um, at first was the very frank sharing that came from women of you know, a lot of different backgrounds um, and hearing from professional women who like me you know were brought to their knees by this diagnosis but then were able to just you know climb back to good health over time and it just showed that you know one can move from this zone of you know, devastating health into really living well and being healthy. And, and over time, you can get there. And there's evidence among these women that it's true. I think um, just knowing that there's a space for women who are really smart to share their story and uh, women who are just being diagnosed can learn a whole lot and get a lot of benefit out of that kind of information from a very personal source.